Okay, no more farting around. We're digging in. We got a drying room set up. We pulled the sheep dry last night. I put it in the drying room. It went from 21.5% down to 20% 24 hours. So I would like to get it down to 18 and a half. Well, you don't get that burn in the back of your throat you get, you know. It's just absolutely delicious, honey. It's map weed or starch, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. It's like a caramely type rich. Ah, oh, so good. Fruity tasting. Mmm. I lost my like quick. Just delicious. Just delicious. And it's hard to leave my smokers going out. It was pranking earlier. How's it going, man? That smoke is really going good. Alrighty, what have we got here? I like cedar. I think the wood chips are getting going. Uh, you know what? I should test this right now, actually. Here, get off the frame. Get off the frame. Get off. Come on. How do you get the bees off the frame? I don't know. One at a time? One? Man, that's going to take a while. <laughs> A little bit of pollen in there too. Tester. Hopefully this yard is a little drier. I'm gonna test the the dried stuff. Wow, look at that. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look, yummy, yummy. How could you not like honey? You hear beekeepers say that. Oh, uh, honey's just a byproduct. You hear them say that. That's it. Nonsense. I don't really Oh, see now that's lower. That's 19.2. Okay. So that's good, right? Let's try some down a little bit lower down here. That looks thinner. Yeah, 20.2. So. The uncapped stuff is a little bit wetter, but that's okay. We're gonna dry it. We are going to dry it. Oh no. Oh, I know how actually. First we gotta get it out of the boxes, right? Give me a box. There'd be a few boxes of honey in here, actually. My son was supposed to come, but we still got a fat job to bid and I think a raccoon job to set up something that's quite a bit of money. You just can't lose that, so. Can't lose that money. Okay. 
Yum yum. You guys are gonna have to exercise after this if you see this. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll start to wonder if we're gonna get a crop. I don't know. I don't know what changed. I'll say it just turned on. I don't know if it it was the nighttime temps or what it was, but that changed. Man, it just kicked down all of a sudden. It's still raining, I mean it just rained three days. But they're still making honey in between the rain. Beautiful. That is ninety dollars. This is why I was trying to get him all above skateboards. that stuff on the skateboard yesterday it was uh it was uh, pretty moist I mean it looked dry as can be in there but it uh it was wet 21 and a half percent I mean what technically probably okay but I don't want to go through all this and it turns around for months on the packer, extracts it and his wife's calling me up. Hey, all these jars are blowing up. That would not be good. Besides, it just tastes better when it's drier. You now you can say anything you want about Bob Benny, but he knows a lot about honey. I mean, Bob Benny is a honey expert. And he talks about that honey being dry. There's a few pounds there. That'd be a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches right there. Be interesting to see what they've done with that super below. It's only been there two days. You still haven't drawn that one out. Where's this one? Wow, look at that. Two days. Two days. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That is two days. Okay. Already got brand new wax and that's all full of honey already. I probably should give these guys those super. Now I'm seeing white wax 
all the way across. Slide it on there and then you'll kill some bees, but most of the bees you just slide it I know I look like I'm going fast, but actually there's a message. Message message to my madness. There's time you get away with being quick. There's time. I, mean, I got 340 units. It takes me about 72 man hours to go through those. So, I mean, I gotta be fast. Alright, it takes me a whole week. Hopefully that brood nest looks good down there. That's that mallet that you don't see me do. I don't go down on the brood nest. You notice that? I mean, you'd cause way more damage digging into that brood nest every week. Not saying there's anything wrong with that because if you're a new beekeeper, yeah, you need to learn. You need to see what's going on. I mean, well, I, I know what's going on. I don't really need to look. So, I save a lot of damage by doing that. Now, this is the one with the skateboard on it. See the skateboard down there? It's just all beautiful honey with no bees on it. Here, this. We're going to go ahead and test it. You know, you spend all this time and energy to get a good crack. You don't want to ruin it by falling too early. I don't generally get one right out of the middle. I'll get one three slot or something. Anyway. Just gonna check the cap first. Now this has been on the skateboard so it hasn't had bees on in a couple days. Nineteen point one, something like that. That ain't bad at all. Twenty-four hours in a drying room. I'll have that eighteen and a half percent honey I want. Eight frame super. How fat those frames are. That's just a knife slide right down that way. <laughs> yeah, if you're just selling honey around the house or the corner gas station. Uh, you know, everybody should have honey at the corner gas station. I know I do. All the local party stores. Just put it in there on consignment if they don't want to buy it. But they'll either buy it. Uh, what was I saying? I have lost. You'd probably be fine to do the shake it test. Because you're going to closely monitor that. But I'm selling this honey to another beekeeper, which is a packer. And then he's going to resell it. So. I kind of have an obligation to make sure I'm not selling them too wet, you know. I, mean, I don't want to get that phone call. Hey, this stuff's all from that. Oh, boy, that one's heavy. That is definitely heavy.
And besides that, I mean, it'll just taste better. Tastes better. I mean, people want your honey because it tastes better. Like, man, that honey over there is really good. Versus, man, this honey's off. All right, well, this guy's gonna need a super. See, like jelly, I wouldn't go down on this brood nest, but. A lot of honey down there. Whew. Yeah. Okay, well, we gotta get a super on these. They're packing out the brood nest with the next year. Honey. I'm gonna give them a wet super. And I'm just gonna let them work up into it. They won't have to do much of this. It's pretty much ready to put next year in. They should move all that up out of the brood nest. Hopefully, put it up here. And what we'll do when they work up here, we'll kill the drone brood and the mites and then uh, we'll shake them down and we'll make a super of honey because we left the excluder off and we did a chemical free treatment because we set them up for drones so. you can't just you know it's liquids you know everything ain't a fix you know americans love that fix in a bottle liquid fix in a bottle but it's not always the best Yes, I'll do a chemical treatment, but I believe the chemical treatment will be way more effective because I haven't done one this year. It's going to be the first time they've seen it. They're not going to know what to think. It's going to smash them. I'm going to set it up so it does. Yeah, this year looks like it's got a bunch of honey in it, doesn't it? Might as well get ready. Yeah, you're going to start doing a lot of honey, you need a drying room. Ooh, baby. Mama Mia. Wowzer. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Wow. So it did get a little drier above the board. I think a lot of those bees eat it before they leave. Probably take a lot of it with them. A lot of the wet stuff, you know. Even though they escape for it. But definitely dried up. I mean, you look at that. You think, well, I don't need a drying room. Well, it's 87% humidity out. How are they supposed to dry it? You know? I mean, how does that work? Man, these are solid frames of honey. Whew. Look at that gold richness right on it. Beautiful, happy honey. Look at that. Running out of there. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That's some of the highest grade honey there is. That's the reason why so many commercial guys come to Michigan. That honey there sells itself. 
Yeah, you don't have no problem getting rid of them. It's like sourwood. You don't have no problem getting rid of sourwood. Of course not. Around here, you're like this, you're not going to have a problem getting rid of goldenrod. This is going to take forever. Mm -hmm. Money's adding up. Hopefully we can get the freedom yard done today too. That back home is just around. I need more supers, I'm out of supers. I'm looking at that one, I mean it's about full already. It's only been two days. A good three three super honey on this one. Yeah, this is all napweed, is what it is. I know napweed when I see it. Take it on and finish it off. Wow, that's a heavy frame there. See. Yeah, see, now this is an eight frame. Right? Yep, this is an eight frame super. I like eight frame supers. They take a little longer to fill up, but they hold more honey, that's for sure. I'm always trying to get more bang for my buck. I'm not like some rich guy. To buy a bunch of stuff, I gotta be smart with my money. Bees need to be smart with me. Right that way. I can't steal from one business, and make another. You guys need to stand alone, make money. Trying to make a living, but it is a nice little side hustle. Of course, 340 highs really ain't a side hustle anymore, is it? It's kind of like a full time job. Alrighty, so we got a deep here. It's almost full. But I don't think it's quite ready yet. And I slipped the medium under it. So. Next week's poll. I think we're going to turn around and have a pretty nice hunting poll. Again in about a week or so. If it keeps coming the way it is, we will. <laughs> Ooh, I got 
Yes, it is. Oh, beautiful. Honey. Ah, it's got brood in it. Shit. Well, I guess that one's gonna wait. I shook them down and put in excluders, so that one's gonna need. Well, as soon as that brood hatches, it should be good. Let's just take this one. That one's got brood. What I could do... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ah, there's so much brood in here, there's no point. We'll let that hatch out. That'll just be next week's pull, that's all. Bummer! We could have used that. So, so far, there's a pretty much a super ready to go. Each one of these. Ah, uh, the water's running off the lid on that one. Maybe a couple troopers in this one. Hopefully, I need to make up for that last two. Quit being an idiot. Quit being an idiot. Woo! This is like hitting a lottery. It's a whole different ball game when everything's sold. I ain't got to do nothing to it. Just write it down a little bit. Drop it off. I don't have to bottle it. I don't have to extract it. I ain't got to do none of that stuff. Take it, three dollars a pound, bam. Hey, my time's money, you know. I'd be all right doing other things and sitting at a honey stand. There ain't nothing against that. But I'll be the guy that supplies the honey stand. That's me. I'm that guy. I'm the guy the honey really comes from. Oh, there's another nice one right below it. That's gone. I'm gonna have an extra super these extra frames I keep getting. Yeah, there's another one below it. There could be. There's at least one more good one down there. I know that much.
I counted 20 in here the other day, but they're not all ready either. Look at that prize frame. I gotta fix that. They're still getting that little bit of shake. It's just right here. It's like they eat it or something, and they? they fill it back up. But we're just gonna take it home and dry it. I am done. Bees need a paycheck. We'll help them out. They can work on drying that other stuff. I'll help them out. I'll finish it off. Are you kidding me? That one below is already full? Ah! Get out of here. No way. You gotta be kidding me. I just put that on. I just put that on. Now we... You have got to be kidding me. There might be three supers here. Ready yet? But, wow. I kind of know super don't you? There's way too many frames in this thing. Man, I love it when they're filling supers up like that. Man. I've been waiting for it all year, all year. I thought it would have happened, you know, at the beginning of July. But I figured we'd have a trickle in June, which we did. But not a trickle, it's mostly July. Okay. I don't know what's happening over there. There's I thought I figured I wouldn't pull none over there today, but what I'm seeing over here Yeah, it's about ready. 
All beautiful white black. They're pretty much ready, but I'm gonna give it a couple more days. Go ahead and finish coming up. They feel like they're about 90%. Oh, they're doing good. And they got an under super, so. Just starting on that. Hopefully we can get these extracted in time. Well, hopefully the float keeps going. It keeps going, I mean, we're making good money. Supers are filling fast. Don't take them long at that rate. If I wasn't so behind on honey, I would probably give them a deeper foundation to draw. I need to get as much honey as I can. Winter's coming. The hell, ain't nothing on that one. This must be one of the ones I pulled off of. I pulled off the skateboard. That's only about half the weight. All right. Well, we're gonna run over the other yard and see how that goes. Close. That one there is calf. There we go. There's a nice fatty. Yeah, here we go. There's a good one. Down you. Hiding down there yonder. And up those frames and that one need to be rewaxed. There's what's wrong with it. Chunky monkey. Yeah. Chunky monkey. Look at the bees on this excluder. <laughs> so you see the big pack. Make sure that's where we've got somewhere to put the honey.
There we go. Doesn't seem to be any robin crutcher. Looks like it's got wax on the brain. I mean, it's still stuck, man. Yeah, we'll jiggle things around. See if that helps. I'll find some more free. Alright, I guess we'll see you over at the Freedom Yard, eh? That'll be the next video. Where we get over there?